Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send mixes live to clients online in Reaper. So I have a project set up here and I've been mixing it for a while. Now I want to play the mix for a client online and live while I'm actually mixing it. And we could do this with Reaper if we use a third party app or plugin. So let's go to our browser and search Sono Bus. Then we can click this link, which will take us to this website, sonobus.net. Now, this software is available for Mac, PC, and Linux, along with working with an iPhone or an Android device. Although we're not going to use it with a phone in this video, our client is using their computer. Now, if you notice, the computer versions come with VST plugins. So that's what we're going to be using in Reaper. But they also come with standalone versions, which our client can use, so they don't have to use a DAW. So it's a bit easier for them. Now, the best thing about this software is that it's 100% free and open source. So it can be used for not just this purpose, but also for collaborating with other musicians online and even recording them using multi-channel audio. But we're gonna focus on playing back our mixes live to our clients online for now. If you wanna get much deeper into the Sonobus software, I would recommend checking out this YouTube channel over here, The Bengineer. He has a whole bunch of more in-depth videos on this software. So once the software is downloaded and installed, we can go back and reopen Reaper. So again, I'm pretty happy with this mix and I want to hear what the client thinks of it. Right now, it sounds like this. So the way to set this up to go up here under view and choose the monitoring effects. We could also do this by putting the plugin as the last effects on the master track, but we're gonna do it here as the monitoring effects is also the last place on our chain. So let's choose it and that opens up the monitoring effects chain. We'll search Sonobus and we could choose it right here. There's two other versions that'll go up to 18 channels. We don't really need it for this. We just need two channels or stereo for this purpose. So we'll double click it and the plugin looks like this. Now we can change what we send from multi-channel to stereo. As I said, we only need to send a stereo mix to the client. Then we can choose to connect to send out a mix. And we could choose a public group or a private group. For this purpose, I'm gonna choose a private group or create one. Choose it here, give it a name, give it a password, and give a name for us as the displayed name for the client. I'm the mixer, so I'm gonna call myself the mixer. Connect to group, or create it. And now it created that group, and it's waiting for our client to sign on as well. So let's check out the client's computer. Right over here, they downloaded the same software, but they're not using a plugin on their side. They're using the standalone application right here. So they'll double click it and that opens up this app. And you can tell right here, their mic has level on it as they can talk to us if they want. Or they can mute it right here, but they'll start off by setting up their audio right here. And if they have a mic, they'll set it up here and the output will be set up here. Now, hopefully they have a good set of speakers set up or at least they're using some good headphones so they can judge our mix more accurately. And when they're done, they could choose to connect the same way we did. So they'll put in the same group name and password and give themselves a name so we could see who they are. And they'll connect to the group and now it shows up like this for them. Again, their mic shows up right here, but they can mute it over here or turn it off by disabling the sending right here. 
let's leave it on for now so they could talk to us. And if we go back to our computer, we could see over here where they signed in as the client, and we can mute their mic right here. So we're not going to hear them talking. Or we could adjust their level of their mic over here. But up here, we're sending our mix. So if we turn it off or mute it, they're not going to hear it. But if we turn it on, they will. And they could adjust the level of the mix right here. And again, if we don't want to hear their mic, we can just mute it here, or they can mute themselves over here so they're not sending their mic or disabling it right here. But they're still going to hear the mix if we play it from here. Or we can turn it off right here. Or turn it back on. Now we could also adjust the sound quality of what we send right over here. I tend to use PCM 16 bit for the best possible quality without using too much bandwidth. Now, if they don't have a mic or they don't want to send their mic and they keep this disabled, we could talk through chat right up here. So they can click this. And that opens up this chat where they could send a message right here. And we'll get it on our computer. As you can see right here, it's lit up, letting us know there's a message. Right here, and we can respond. And they'll get it right here. But it's a great way of sending mixes online, live while you're mixing. Again, we can mute them right here, or unmute them. And they could adjust their playback level. And let us know how the mix sounds. So that's pretty much it. That's how to send mixes live to clients online in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!